Hey, this is Belinda with the Southern Scribe, and I'm going to do a really quick flip through of this book. This book is called uh, Watercolor Wishes, and it is a design team project for Artie Mays. If you have not um, looked at Artie Mays' paper, I suggest that you do so. She has some fabulous um, digi kits with tons of paper. Uh, very economical. Um, I didn't even use all the paper pack to do this page and it's just full of gorgeous images. Um, this is a soft cover book that measures five and a half by seven and a half. It is a coffee stained muslin soft cover with um, batting in there um, with some ink stamping, script stamping on it. There is a, I'm going to untie this so you can see, a Battenberg lace doily, a little stamped pinned on image here ribbon uh, or a uh, ribbon that's leaf trimmed and ribbon and muslin flower blooms there with button centers with some bling and gesso. These are some little Tim Holtz girls here over a die cut that you can see the dictionary page through there. It is soft cover and I just caught the tie in the rustic stitching for the signature so that it doesn't separate from the book. Another little paper doll on back with um, a plate here for your name and dates included in the book and it's a dictionary page with gesso pinned on and then a little fabric collage on the back. On the inside is a shabby chic uh, fabric pocket and this is one of her beautiful tag booklets there. That paper is so gorgeous and this is just a little uh, book plate that I reduced down and made a little writing tag out of it. And I forgot to mention the eyelash trim on the edges of both the front and the back cover. It's like eyelash trim on a decorative ribbon. Um, this is some of her paper there. I absolutely love it. The pages are larger than what you see here. Um, I trim them down. This is um, why I call it water Watercolor Wishes. There are watercolor areas all throughout the book that I put some modeling paste and watercolored over handmade paper from my sweet husband that I coffee stained, trimmed in fabric with stamp and modeling paste and fabric. This is one of the line sheets from the paper pack. I think it's absolutely beautiful with the die cut on it. More watercolor with some eyelash fibers up there over fabric and some more down here. And this is another like digi stamp image that I put on the bottom of this page. And over here is some fabric and bling and an undercut page with the Tim Holtz rub off on there or rub on, I'm not sure what you say. It's the butterflies. Um, some little shabby tassel trim up there with bling and stamping. And this is uh, another one of the beautiful Victorian lady images that uh, come on the paper. And another watercolor area over a modeling paste. I love the watercolors in this one with uh, a little lace and fabric and bling up there. Lined paper with a die cut image and fabric. And on this modeling paste, I just put um, a little coffee stain there. So it kind of blends in with the page. Die cut on handmade paper. That's modeling paste, even though it looks like a die cut. Uh, watercolor <clears throat> on an undercut page over there. And then this is the center of the signature. And because it's Vic Victorian and not quite as grungy as some of my other journals that I make, um, I didn't want the binding seams to show. And also, because it's a soft cover book, um, it is reinforced, but lightly. And I, want, I put some washi tape here just to make sure that the seams are protected when you flip and turn and all that kind of thing. All right, watercolor there. Modeling paste on handmade paper. Some stamping on the back with script there. And this is some more modeling paste with just the coffee stain over it. I love that look too. Fabric on this lined page with a die cut. There's a watercolor there with some fabric and bling and lace. And this is a tag that I made out of some dark cardstock or like brown cardstock. I used her lined pages and that's some modeling paste on there with gesso on the back. Look at the roses. Aren't they lovely on this lined paper? And this is some more of that shabby tassel uh, with some bling and a little stamping there. More watercolor with a lace uh, flower sewn on and you can actually, you know, 
tuck a little secret line under there. It lifts on both sides. I just attached it in the center. And there's a feather stamp on coffee stain paper and more watercolor with eyelash trim and fabric. And there's some watercolor at the bottom. Love watercolor. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's some lined paper. And I found that her papers, once they're coffee stained, they take on kind of a watercolor look. I love that. Um, handmade paper with fabric, trim, and modeling paste. And more watercolor there. And this is a, excuse me, <clears throat> tag made like the other one with her lined paper and some modeling paste and gesso. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the paper clips are all um, rusted, and there's some watercolor down there. <clears throat> I should have bought a glass of water, huh? And this is my third attempt to make this video. <clears throat> I want to back up for just a second and say that I do have a tag booklet <clears throat> that has four pages with a little Victorian digi stamp up here <clears throat> that attaches to this page. Um, that's why I never said anything to the side because I forget it, <clears throat> but I've been having a time making this video. Watercolor, bird's nest stamp there, handmade paper with lace and bling and coffee stain, fabric and lace and bling on another beautiful lined journal page. It comes in the kit. There's some watercolor there. And this is the lined paper I trimmed down and made a little multi-page journaling spot. There's three pages here. Over this page has a die cut on it. And some more egg stamping with fabric and another beautiful, there that is, and another beautiful lady there with some fabric and bling. Watercolor there. It almost looks like a resist and that's a modeling paste technique. I love the way that it looks. It almost looks waxy. Um, this is a page that um, it was actually a full border page, and I shrunk it down to be an undercut page in this book. And there's some digi stamping, stamping on handmade paper, watercolor, and modeling paste on handmade paper. There's another watercolor area right there with some crocheted lace, bird stamp, script stamp, another tag here. Um, over this, this is a newspaper page here that's gessoed and script stamped and inked and that's the center sig of this signature, the second signature, and it has some more of the washi tape in the middle and I actually watercolored on some of the leaves on the center and there's the other side of the newspaper page. And this is a tag, it's another page tag that I shrunk down and I thought these would be neat if you put a little photo or newspaper clipping or something, you could write about it on this side. I love that idea. And this is a page with some hand crocheted lace there, or crocheted lace. I, I didn't make this lace, I'm sorry. And a butterfly die cut there inked up on a watercolor edged paper, lined journal paper. More watercolor on handmade paper. Stamping, die cut, there's the other half of that page I shrunk down. I think those make pretty journaling spots. There's another one of those um, modeling paste techniques so that it almost looks like a wax resist. Love that. And then there's another beautiful lady with fabric. I hope you can see that because it's starting to get bright and I'm afraid I've got a light on the page. Die cut. <clears throat> This is a single tag of this beautiful lady right here. Coffee stained on the back, the watercolor there. Stamping on that page, watercolor. Fabric, bling, handmade paper, rosette with bling. And this is another page with light watercoloring and heavier watercoloring over modeling paste on this side with fabric and a little fringy trim there. And this is modeling paste with watercolor over this pretty lady. It's part of the paper collection. Stamping, coffee stain paper, handmade paper with a little die cut and modeling paste. Lace fabric with bling over one of these beautiful journal pages that I kind of burnt the edges on a little bit. I did that on several of the pages in here. And there's some more watercolor. And there's that bird stamp, feather, there's, whoops, more watercolor. I love the tones. Absolutely beautiful, and it goes great with this paper. Lined paper with egg stamping. 
And there's a little lady up there. This is a single tag with a digi stamp on the bottom corner of the page and a birdie stamp up there. And this is watercolor. This is the tassel trim over some script stamp pages, die cut on handmade paper with watercolor. This is more, a little more watercolor over here on a script stamp page. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a another page reduced and cut around to make the center of the signature with the washi tape for reinforcement. And this is a little watercolor there and a little more over here on this uh, handmade paper. Coffee staining. This is a little shabby tassel trim on fabric. And that's a little watercolor grouping on beautiful lined journal paper for part of the kit. Um, the tags, this tag has a Victorian image on it and it's plain on back. And this page has a die cut with some script stamping on the page. And that's just like a sticker paper that I put down there. And this is a feather, no, a leaf, excuse me. I'm looking right at it and don't know what it is. It's a leaf over modeling paste with some ink instead of watercolor this time. I've got to have a little grungy, guys. All right, and there's die cut, die cut. Um, this is cut out of a, like a, it was a vintage like lace collar, and I just cut this little piece out um, and coffee stained it, and it's got some bling on it. This beautiful lady, that's a Tim Holtz rub off on there, or rub on, I'm sorry. And look at her, modeling paste and stamping on handmade paper. And this is lined paper with fabric. And the inside back cover has a shabby pocket with another tag uh, that was like a book page that I shrunk down and made a little tag out of it. And another lined paper booklet there. And like I said, this kit is large. I only used a small sample of it and this I was intended to use much more. Um, but I wanted some sheets to put the watercolor. Of course, I like to leave a lot of journaling space in my books. So I'm planning on making another journal with some more of this kit. Um, like I said, this book has 108 pages. I didn't know how much bigger I could make it. Anyway, I'm gonna post this on my Facetube channel, uh, The Southern Scribe, and you can search that by doing at, the little at sign, Southern Scribe on Facebook, and you can find me. And I'm gonna post it for sale with some pictures in the video, uh, linking it back to YouTube too. But um, I'll tell you how you can uh, get this book if you want it, and it will have pricing information there. And something I'm going to do a little differently now, I'm going to post my stuff to my Facebook page first, and I'm going to leave it on there probably 24 hours before I make a YouTube video. And that is, I'm not going to lie, a shameless attempt to get more followers to my Facebook page. So if you want to see my work first before it goes on YouTube, and if you want to have first shot at the book, then um, please... Uh, look at my Facebook page. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.